shoestring here. What we're going to do today to begin our testing of our new super cheap Chinese inverter. I was calling it a 1600, but we have discovered it is not 1600, actually. It's only 800, but it does appear to be 12 volts, like we asked and what we needed. Okay, because if you'll remember, if you watched the last video, the box said right here, that is 12 volt and peak power is 1600, which means it's continuous power is 8. So this is only an 800 watt inverter. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put it together and give it a test. So as usual, we're going to undo the cables that has the alligator clips. And we are going to connect them. Take this off. Connect the clip. the positive red we just connected. Now we're going to do the negative. Negative cable. Black, of course. You can see where the inverter has plus and minus, so that will be helpful. Okay. They are now connected. Move the box out of the way. And we're now going to connect it to our battery. This is a 35 amp hour AGM battery. Go ahead and connect the positive. And then connect the negative. Sometimes you'll get a spark. Just like that. Don't worry about it. That's natural. Now, put the inverter up. And we're going to turn it on to see if it comes on. And it did. It says that the battery is 13.0, so it is fully charged. And before we start the testing, while I have it here, I want to point out this universal plug. Universal plugs that's been coming out recently are supposed to be able to handle any type of plug it runs across. If it's American, European... Asian. I just wanted you to keep that in mind when you see this advertised universal plug. That's the point, is it will take any type of plug-in. Okay, we have it connected, 12.9, and here in just a moment, we will start the testing. All right, so how this universal works is you take a standard United States plug-in, 110, and you simply slide it in, and it is now in there. It will also take the three prong, if that's what you have. So this is now plugged in. I have just plugged it into a vacuum cleaner. It is two amps. Go ahead and take a look at that. Two amps, which means about 240 volts. This says, I mean, 240 watts. Okay. See, shoestring slips up occasionally. I have the vacuum cleaner that we said was 2 amp. We're going to check that. I have my kilowatt, which is what I showed everyone you use to find out how many watts you are using. We're going to plug the vacuum cleaner up into it. It is now plugged in. And here, out of camera sight, I'm going to go ahead and push the button and turn it on so you can see what the kilowatt does. Go ahead and push it to make sure it's cleared. 237, 236, right in that area. Go ahead and turn this off. And that's about right. This says 1600, so let's see if it will do. And it has come on. And it's running as we expect a pure sine wave to run. 
it is plugged in. It, of course, is dropping the volts on our little battery, but that's expected. It's a small battery, and we're trying to run a large device with a motor, so that's going to make it a little bit more difficult. Okay, so it passed the first test of the universal plug-in working. Let's go ahead and turn that off so you can hear me. The universal plug-in working, and it's rated for 800 watts. If you read the documentation on it, it says not to go more than 90%. So you're not even going to get the 800 watts. And once again, when it comes to these type of batteries, once you turn the power off, your voltage jumps right back up. Now I'm doing this much larger vacuum cleaner. And as you can see, it is about 606 watts. And this is what, what the other one we're going to use to test our new inverter. This next vacuum cleaner is 600, around 600 watts, which we just saw with kilowatt. We're about to plug it in and see if it'll work. Now remember, you can only do 90% of this 800, and that's going to be around 720. Okay, let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it will do it. It is plugged in. We're about to turn the vacuum cleaner on. And it is not working. It is a fail. Let's try turning it off. Doing it one more time. No. So, this will... So, supposedly, 800 watt inverter will not even run a 600 watt vacuum cleaner. So I will declare this inverter a fail. I recommend you do not purchase it because it isn't going to do what it is supposed to do. If you like this type of video, please subscribe and like it and shoestring 